We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Minnesota Twins and the New York Yankees. The Yankees are looking to collect their eighth win in a row next. Jordan Montgomery, a hurler from South Carolina, will be the starting pitcher in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Really like this guy. He reminds me a lot of Andy Pettit, left-hander from the University of South Carolina. Not an overpowering fastball, kind of like Andy Pettit. Low to mid-90s fastball, good curveball. His secondary pitches, he needs to improve on a little bit, but this guy has a Leading bright future. Tonight, Quality arm from the left the side. Now in the box, Luis Arias. Arias. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Wade ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting second. The center fielder, number 25, Byron Buxton. Here's Byron Buxton now. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. You know, Matty, the season's such a grind, and you fight so hard day in, day out, and you're playing against the best players in the world, so you know you're going to lose some games coming out of spring training. To get on a roll where you win seven in a row, a week of everything coming together, that's a special feeling. And he misses there, one and two. Temperature was in the 70s earlier today, but 59 at game time tonight. Still one and two. And the pitch. Breaking ball called third strike as that catches the zone for out number two. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. As we look at that all five first. pitches, the notice right the field. location, all Nothing. five down Ooh. in the zone. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. Here's Nelson Cruz now. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. The 1 0 home. Ball. New ball. No strike. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. You know, D-Roll, Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players and pitchers. Yeah, you're going to see a few glares, not only from the offensive guys, but maybe the guy on the mound as well. He needs to be a little bit more consistent. Into the corner and slicing foul. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses and it's a two out walk. Batting four, the designated hitter, Miguel. The next twin up, Miguel Sano. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. First delivery to him on the way. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball, kind of front hip. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to hunt him as that ends the inning. 
One left for Minnesota. And now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. Randy Dobnik is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Minnesota. What do we need to know here, Danny? Boy, was he super good in this last one, a complete game shutout, a true gem. He certainly would like to repeat that performance here. Here's Brett Gardner now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. Up for the Yankees, the center fielder, Brett Now here's Gardner. the pitch. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. And, guys, as we take a look at the Twins at the start of play here tonight, they came up a little short last time out, but they've still been one of the hotter teams around, winning eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty, taking a look at the standings right here, this team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't... One series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings, and this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And this is swung on and missed as Gardner's a strikeout victim, one away. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been Batting sitting second. on an off-speed pitch, That's but instead stop. he gets the fastball Labor. way late. Had no so chance red. to put that ball in play. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As the first pitch That's misses to him, it's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit hard on the ground to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Batting third, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A ball of no strikes. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that splitter again. He's looking for a double play, and that pitch certainly has enough depth on it to get him a ground ball. And he fouls this one off. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Yep. Hot shot down the line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2-2. Two and two. Torres, base runner at first with one out. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Popped him up. Garver moving to his left. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting fourth, the designated hitter, Giancarlo. Giancarlo Stanton now. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch. Fouled off.
0-1 count and the pitch. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. That's just a great pitch right there, great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee-high, nasty, diving out of the zone. Two out with the man at first. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Nothing in the Yankee first. We'll head to the second at the stadium with no score. Into the box, Mitch Garver. As we take a look at the splits between April and May. Mitch Garver. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey. Oh, one's the count. The wind up and the 0 oh, one. Hey. And a curveball, 79 miles an hour. It's in there, 0 oh, 2. Pretty unusual that you see a 5 0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for rap number one. Batting pick. Max the Kepler, pick. the next to grab a bat. And he's Kepler. carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Hey. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't oh, have. 0-1. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and he's going to get rung up on a curveball, and that looked like a questionable strike at best, two away. Six pitches, two strikeouts in the inning. Hard to beat Number that, 20. and beyond that, he has to feel good no about problem. the way the curveball is coming out of his hand. That was a nasty-looking pitch. At the plate now, Eddie Rosario. As he rips it on the ground to second. He's got it. Throw not nearly in time as he reaches it first. Hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it Batting right it. out of the shoot from the step three. one, but I have Number to ask you, Dan, how frustrating Don. executing a Don. pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D. Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line to the right side. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. One hit, one left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. Leading and he off. really Boy, thrives in the batter's box the here at home. Something Gary. to keep an eye on in this one. Sanchez. First delivery to him on the way. And it's fouled away. Now the 0 1. Now he extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. Boom goes the dynamite. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. Home run number 15 for him thus far as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here is not the end of the world. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. The third baseman. This will lay off a slider too low, ball one. 
He'll enter play here up near the 340 mark. Four home runs and 21 driven in. The 1 0 home. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Center fielder on the run. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the that first down. The left fielder, Mike Talkman. Digging in now for the Yankees, Mike Talkman. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Here comes the first pitch. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. I got the count 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Nope, outside. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Ready to deliver the one and two. Oh, that's inside. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Here now the 2 2. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hoped with that home run, but I've got to give that him again. credit for flushing it first and coming man. back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's Four. acting like it didn't even happen before. Into the box, Luke Voigt. Sends that one out of play for strike one. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And this is pulled fouled as he was way out in front there. The 0 2 delivery. Well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. The one two he is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Marwin Gonzalez. Here's the pitch. Ball one, no strike. So far this year against Southpaws, Gonzalez is hitting over 350 up in the high 300s. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Now batting, second baseman, Luis Araya. Into the box now, Luis Arias, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He flied out leading off the ball game. The 1 0 home. fly ball out to straightaway center. Gardner will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Up next to the twin, the center fielder, 
Byron Buxton. So that will bring in Byron Buxton. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First offering on its way. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Nope. The 0 1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. From the belt, kicks and deals. 2 1. Swing and a ground ball to third, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Skied down the left field line. Tuckman is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Up next for the twin. The right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Into the box now, Nelson Cruz. He drew a base on balls his first time up. From the stretch, bounce to first. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, yeah, I can't imagine that's a pitch he was looking for right there. But he did his best to keep his nose in there and drive that change up for a base hit. Here's Miguel Sano. And this one's in the dirt. No movement on base. It's ball one. Two men are on with two men out. Two balls and no strikes to Miguel Sano. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball, and it's two and one now. The set and the two and one. I got and he misses ball. again, ball three. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. The three and one pitch line down the left field line but this will be foul ready with the payoff pitch fouled away. He set the payoff pitch. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Twin strand a pair. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Second baseman. Tyler. Here comes the first pitch. Way. Fastball that gets the inside corner. Strike one. Runs up and gets this one down. And he will smartly swipe that ball away in foul territory. So we likely won't see the bunt again now with two strikes. This is skied into short left center. 
Rosario comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. One out, nobody on. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Now batting. So bases That's are empty stop. here with two gone, Labor. and that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Torres. First delivery to him on the way. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Tough to do much with that one, a swing and a miss. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning 1-2-3 and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. 1-2-3 go the Bombers. They lead it one to nothing. All set for the start of the fourth. Stepping in, Mitch Garver. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Leaps high as he makes the now catch. Batting. Well the done. Opportunity now Matt. to take a look at some of the yep, future bro. players in the Yankee organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing well in recent action. In now, Max Kepler. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. First time up, he went down looking. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. One ball, two strikes, count. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. If you're on the mound right there and you're getting a swing at a breaking ball off the plate, do not be shocked if he's tucked something up under this guy's chin hot right here. Swing and a little blooper to center. Into the slide, and he comes up with a great catch for the second out. The left fielder, number 20, Eddie Rosario. That's a slick play out there as we take a look at it on show motion. He was charging in quickly and he slides to get under the ball just before it reaches the ground and gets the out. Well done. Up next for Minnesota, Eddie Rosario. 
Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. 1 0. The 1 0 home. Two balls, no strike. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Too tight with that one. Three and zero. Oh. Well, of all the guys in this lineup, he's definitely the guy I'd be cautious with, especially with a one-run lead. No surprise that he's treading lightly right here. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Taking all the way that time. It's three and one. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. 3-2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. The next 3-2. Hit back toward the mound. Torres brings it in. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him. And the inning is over. Fair to say. Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Digging in for his second at bat. Aaron Judge comes into More this at Yankee. bat 0 for 1 in the ball the game. Right Aaron Judge. First pitch of the at bat. Hit hard towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Up next to the Yankees, the designated hitter, Giancarlo Santan. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him, a base hit. Oh, but the feet of the second baseman is a wild one. Now well, that's one of the, I Kepner. guess, the advantages of hitting Gary. with that hole between first and second base, d -Row. First baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the bat right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw where it was aligned and tried to beat him. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Owen one delivery behind Owen two now. And another foul ball. The next O two. Ball. He went deep Count earlier, so that three. might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. The one-two. Two ball, two strikes. Hot shot on the ground is short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. To second for one. On to first to complete the double play. 
Well, there's the pitcher's now best that. friend right there. Number the inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Stepping up now, Gio Urshela, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. One run, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. Ah, and he'll make it back in safely at third. One and one. Here it is. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. Fielded cleanly. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. The Yanks leave one. But they're up one to nothing. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right, Heidi, thank you. Josh Donaldson digging in now. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. First offering on its way. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. Gone to lead off the inning. It's a solo shot off the bat of Josh Donaldson. Number 10 for him on the year as the Twins have come back to tie it at one. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. At the plate, Marwin Gonzalez. Because he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. One and one. Outside, that's the ball. A ball and two strikes to the Twins shortstop. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. Lays off two and two now. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Skied into straightaway right. Judge is there to put it away for route number one. Now batter, second baseman, Luis Arias. Digging in, Luis Arias. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Tuckman is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. 
the center. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And as you see there, just one mile an hour separating these two arms so far. 96 on one hand, 95 on the other. So two are gone in the Twins' half of the fifth. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. You have to be careful. You can't sleep on the bunt right here, even with two outs. They're playing him back, but this guy can handle the bat. That's ball. And that's inside and a bit low, anyways. It's 2 0. Oh. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Hits are now even at four apiece. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Line drive to left. Tuckman is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. But the Twins do come back to level things out thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up, all even at one apiece. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. Too much of the time, they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2, and that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at, so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading off for the Yankees. Ready for another the chance? Mike Talkman. He got called out on strikes his Talk last time man. through. First pitch coming. Here it is. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And low, it's a ball and a strike. 1 and 1. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. The 2-1 home. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now batting. The first baseman. Luke. Boy. At the plate, Luke Voigt. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball. Off the plate, one ball, one, one strike. One Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. And that's the second out. The batter number 14. Second baseman, Tyler. Wade. Digging in to try it again, Tyler Wade. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And now pitch on the way. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Dobnek is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We played five full, tied at one aside. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He'll go to work trying to do something about breaking this 1-1 one, one tie. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
Curveball taken for a strike on the inside. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball inside. I got two on the count. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. The 2 1 home. Smoked on the ground, left side. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batter, designated hitter, Miguel Sano. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First delivery to him on the way. The fastball here is you'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. A ball and a strike. One and one. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count all in on something over the heart of the plate. Full count three balls and two strikes to the Twins D.H. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Fly ball out toward left center field. Gardner's after it. He gets there, and that's the second out. The catcher, number eight, Mitch. Garver at the plate Mitch Garver he lined out in his last trip so looking for better fortunes here yeah he hit it hard that's all you can ask you can't control the results sometimes Maddie just unlucky with the placement ball one, ball one no strike. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2 0 now. Three and 0 now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. And it's fouled away. And the 3 1. Can't keep that one fair either, and now the count is full. Bases are empty here with two men out. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Down go the Twins in order. Still tied one apiece. Riding in once again, Brett Leading Gardner. For the Yankees. They started out for the Yanks the here in the sixth. Brett. First offering Gardner. on its way. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time.
Owen oh, one count and the pitch. And he misses with it one and one. Now some action out in the Minnesota pen as it looks like both the lefty and the right hander are up to throw. From the windup the one one pitch. Oh. And that one misses badly it's ball two. A couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitters count. Ball even at two and two. Now the pitch. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Torres will be next. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone now down on strikes Shortstop. in this one. So they've Wait really for. figured out how to attack this Go guy. Red. So now to the plate, Torres. Oh, look out, hot shot to third, and there are two away. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron John. Here's big Aaron Judge. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. First pitch on its way. Ball at the side. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Ball two. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Nope. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. 3 and 0 oh now. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3 and 0. Oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Two out, nobody on. Grounded down the third baseline, and this is going to be a foul ball. The 3-1 and that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. As a former pitcher, I can tell you nothing is worse than having to battle not only the hitter, but the umpire as well. He didn't get some of the calls there, but there's nothing he can do about that now. Just got to go right after the next guy. Digging in and looking for more, Giancarlo Stanton. He singled his last time up. From the belt, the pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Two and one after the foul ball there. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. Fouled away. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One left for the Yankees. Score remains tied one to one. Wait, Zach Britton is on right, to pitch from the bullpen now to start now inning number seven. Number 53. Zach 
Britain. Seventh inning ready to roll. Standing in, Max Kepler. It was a flyout for Taking him in his last play. trip. The first baseman, Max Kepler. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Front door with the slider eclipsed the zone for a called strike. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. Yeah, Matt, you see the same pitch three times in a row and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times or do I have to sit on something else? And a slider runs away from him there and the count levels at two and two. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The left fielder, number 20, Eddie Rosario. Standing in, Eddie Rosario. In previous meetings with Britain over the years, he's gone three for four. Set here it comes. Inside ball one. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Now the two zero. Look out. All over the place now. 3-0. and oh. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. He's capable of taking deep every time he digs in, so it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. So a runner at first now with one away, and here's Donaldson. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. One, one. Not a surprise to see that low splitter there. Anything with downward movement like that is going to be at the top of the list in a double play situation. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. In tight with the sinker, ball two. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair, two and one. A look now the pitch. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. The three and one pitch. And he misses with it. Ball four. So the potential go ahead run moves into scoring position now. The batter, number nine, short ball. Marlon now at the plate, Marwin Gonzalez. Gonzalez. He flew out in his last at bat. From the stretch. There's a good breaking ball as he gets the bottom of the zone. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. From the stretch. That's a ball. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Ah. 
And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Tuckman is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. The batter number two. Second baseman. Luis Arias. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Stepping in, Luis Arias. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. First pitch coming. Here it is. One out. Two men are on with two men out. <laughs> Left it up in the zone, but it's a strike one, one and one. <laughs> two and one now to the Twins' leadoff man. The set and the two one. Ball three. Three and two now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Waved out and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. All tied at one and one. Your Homer Bailey please. gets the call from now the pen to take over on the mound and start the Number home 15. seventh. Homer Bailey. Settling in now, Gary Sanchez. The matchup the with Homer Bailey now to lead the off Kessler. the inning. Gary Sanchez. First offering on its way. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Now the 1 0. Is a fastball looked at for a strike. And he misses two and one. Two balls, one strike, the count. Two balls and two strikes now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, now a high piece of cheese swung at a miss. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Into the box, Gio Urshela. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Eight, two. 
Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now, down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Nope. Down and away. It's a ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes, the count. One out, nobody on. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. Into the box now, Mike Talkman. Center fielder giving chase. But he can't get there, and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Hey, the there's a hard thing. hit ball that was going to be down oh. for extra bases. The ball Four. had some spring on it, and it bounced over the wall, and the ground rule double puts him on second base without having to leg it out. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Well, they felt it was better to the take the bat out of the hands 14. of a guy like that. Second He's just man. too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the Wade. next guy in the lineup. Digging in, Tyler Wade. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. Hey. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. One and one. Here it is. And he fouls this one off. Nope. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. Here's the two and two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Yanks strand a pair. Score remains deadlocked at one. Your ben Heller has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 61, Ben Heller. Digging in, Byron Buxton. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. First pitch coming. Here it is. Whoa, Below right the knees, one ball, no strikes. Hey. On the corner away, a ball and a strike. That's out. One and one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. On well, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't count. connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Here it comes. Hit hard up the middle. On to first, and how important is it to keep this guy off base in a tie ball game? A one away. Now batting, right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Digging in once again, Nelson Cruz. A hit in two tries for him so far. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled off. Hi. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. Judge is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Now batting, the designated hitter, Miguel Janeiro. The number four Minnesota hitter, Miguel Sano. No thump out of him in this game so far, as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. First pitch of the at bat. Off the outside that time, as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there 1 and 0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 and 0. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. And right into the shift. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Counts even at two. The pitch. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 two -two pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Wade has a play. And that retires the side. Twins are set down one, two, three. Still tied one apiece. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Brett Gardner. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Gardner. First pitch on its way. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And this is hit hard to the right side. But foul. The 0 2 once more. He yeah. swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. The Sometimes it can be That's really tough top. for these big, strong Flavor. guys because once they're committed go to swinging, around. it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. First pitch of the at bat. The high fastball is in there. All one's the count. Bases are empty, one man out. High chopper to third, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. And three. here is strike three called on the fastball. Looked to be about eye level, but it's out number two instead. Two up, no two right down on strikes in this Nagina. inning. He looks really Aaron. sharp out there, guys. Good. At the plate now, Aaron Judge. As he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0 and 1. 1 for 2 in the ball game thus far. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Two and two. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. 
Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lot. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Score remains tied one to one. Set to start the ninth in this one. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Mitch Garver. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. Throw on to first for the out. And that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batter. The first baseman. Matt Kepler. Digging in now, Max Kepler. First pitch coming, here it is. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider, just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. A ball and a strike. Fouled away. The slider is laid off on the inside as it just misses the zone. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. Popped him up. Urshela in foul ground. And that's the second out of the inning. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Now with the plate, Eddie Rosario. It was a walk in his last trip. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead 0-1. 0-1. And it's 1-1. One and one. Two out, nobody on. That's no one. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Josh Donaldson would be next. Three and one, here's the pitch. A bouncer up the middle. A throw not nearly in time, so despite the great effort, that'll go into the books as an infield single. Hey, that's a heck of an effort by the shortstop right there to leave his feet and try and make that throw to first base. Got to be frustrated a little bit as a pitcher. You executed your spot. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, I, well, as soon as you throw one like that, D-Roy, you see your shortstop get a glove on it, you're thinking, okay, maybe he has a shot to get him, but that's a long throw after that jump throw, and a solid infield base hit, but very frustrating as a pitcher. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Oh, well, and he missed with it. It's 1-2. and two. One and two. Here it is. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. Twins wind up stranding one. Score remains deadlocked at one. Taylor Rogers enters the game from the pen. And because this is a non-save situation, it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close the game out for several days now, so they're just Yankees. hoping they can keep him sharp and give him hitter. a chance to pitch in a real game situation here. 
Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Now the pitch. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt in fact. Lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. And he fouls this one off. The two two one more time. Count full. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days. But it doesn't make it any less Gary. impressive to me. I love watching ben guys Gary. come in and blow smoke right by guys. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And this one's too far inside, ball two. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. The 2 0 on the way. Ball three. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. Here it is, the 3-0. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. And you can tell by his body language that he's beyond frustrated by that call. He's got to be wondering what he's got to do, but... The last thing he needs to do is to let it get under his skin. That will only make things worse. So striding in, Gio Urshela. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Liner towards second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Now batting. Left fielder, Mike Tuckman. So a big spot here in stepping in, Mike Tuckman. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. Here's the first pitch. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat, 1-0. Boy, this is a dicey situation right here, Deaver, with the runner in scoring position. The sack fly brings that run in. This is where you're going to really have to try to keep the ball on the ground as a pitcher. What do you want to do as a hitter, Deaver? Yeah, right here, you are looking for anything above the belt. You see it up, you have to let it go. This is where you have to check your ego at the door. Something has to be elevated and put into the outfield. Give your team a chance to score a run. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here. One away. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Luke Voigt waits on deck. The 3-0. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heated. Okay. Swing and a miss much too early, and that makes it a full count. The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher is going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is a guaranteed ribbon. And he 
and he will take strike three called. And as big an out as you can ask for there as the winning run stays at third with now two away now. First baseman, Luke Boy. And it appears they're going to give him the intentional walk here, so now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. Now batting. DJ LeMahieu will be called Take upon here to game. hit with the game on the line. DJ LeMahieu. And that misses for ball one. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, LeMahieu carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. Here's the 1-0. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners in the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Your DJ LeMahieu stays in the ball game in the nine hole and takes over at second base. Now playing second base, number 26, DJ LeMahieu. Luis Sessa takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch number here in extra five. innings. Luis Sessa. Digging in the switch hitter, Marwin Gonzalez. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Gonzalez. First offering on its way. The 1 0 home is looked at for the first strike. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line. But that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. In now, Luis Arias. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. That's inside. 2 0. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. So striding forward now, Byron Buxton is one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. No balls and a strike to count. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting the front foot down. No one's getting the barrel to the baseball. Low and away with that one. It's one and two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. 
Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. It's always nice to keep Up a guy that has good him. wheels off base. Right and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout. Ooh. Keep that guy off the base path. At the plate, Nelson Cruz. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. To two and two now. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Tuckman is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One left for Minnesota. Still tied one apiece. Tyler Duffy comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. Number 21. Tyler Duffy. Ready for the bottom of the 10th here. So coming to the plate, Brett Gardner. He was sat down on strikes in his last the at bat. Yeah, and kind of Brett. shocked he got blown away with a fastball. Gardner. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Two as the breaking ball misses inside. Two one home now to Gardner. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. And this is a case of a guy taking one for the team. I think he could have gotten out of the way of this one, but he leans into it and puts himself on board. Now he represents the winning run, so it's a good move. Stepping up to the plate, Torres. The winning run is at first base. Here's the first pitch. The 0 1. What? Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. In the dirt here. And a huge mistake as that's going to move the winning run into scoring position. And I think that's the case of the pitcher being a little too preoccupied with the speed at first. He lost focus on making the pitch and throws an absolute scud. The irony, of course, is the runner's now on second, and he didn't even have to steal. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. This would be an absolute terrible start to the inning. After drilling the first guy, you can't allow the second guy to reach base via the wall. The 3-1 pitch. He loses him on ball four. You know, it takes a lot of now discipline to watch right a pitch field. like that go by. On a 3-1 count, he had the luxury yeah. of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. Now at the plate, Aaron Judge. The winning run at second. However, the double play in order here.
Here's the first pitch. In there, strike one. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. The one and one pitch. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. A possible winning run on second. No one out. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Fouled off. Ready with another two strike offering. Hit the other way out toward right field. Cruz is there, one away. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. Okay. We'll see if moving That's up the third hitter. pays off for him. Dark he didn't hard, have hard. to tag and go for third. But yeah. now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a hit. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He's looking to bring home the winning run from third. Here's the first pitch. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you've got a great hitter in the box, you got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here. One away. And that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0-2 now. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Now the 0-2 pitch. Struck him out. A huge punch out there. And the winning run stays anchored in third with two gone now. now. Wow, the he's Jetsman. just a lost cause in Gary. this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone, and that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. To the plate now, Gary Sanchez. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. So the lead runner holds on, but the trailer will take second. Well, they miss with the first one, but then they decide, let's go ahead and put him aboard here. And they'll do just that as you see the signal from the dugout. And this is the right Number move 29. here. With first base open, take the bat out of this guy's hands every single time. Striding in, Gio Urshela. A two-out hit and win it. Pass ball or wild pitch would do the trick just as well. Here's the first pitch. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Big spot here. Possible winning run at third. Two down. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. One and one. Here it is. Skied into straightaway right. Cruz is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. Yankees leave them loaded. Score remains tied one to one. Now it will be the Minnesota D.H. Miguel Sano. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. First delivery to him on the way. 
The 0-1 on its way. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing and two. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Boyd backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. The catcher, number eight, Nick Garver. Now to the plate, Mitch Garver. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Count one and oh. One out, nobody on. Lays off again, and it's two and oh. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2 2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Wow, we've seen some really impressive pitching in this bad. one. You the could say three. these lineups have been anemic, but I always Pepper. like to give credit to pitching and defense, and they've been fantastic all game long. Standing in now, Max Kepler. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Fouled away. Into the windup with the 0-2. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Now the one-two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Slider laid off for a ball. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Two and two, the pitch. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. And he fouls this one off. Oh. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Stepping into the box, Eddie Rosario. Man at first after the two-out walk. Here's the first pitch. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. 2-0 to the Twins left fielder. 2-0. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Liner towards second. But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Twins wind up stranding one. Score remains deadlocked at one.
your Sergio Romo takes over now to now start the home 11th, and he's, and he's looking to get this one to the four. visiting 12th. Sergio Romo. Stepping in, Mike Talkman. He goes a backwards K, a strikeout looking no for him in his field. last at bat. Mark. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got Talk it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. 0 oh, 1 the count. Pitch on the way. This is line to left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So the leadoff man reaches base safely here in extra innings. Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting oh, right there to put the winning run on base. base. Interesting here. This is where you play a little bit of manager. It's an AL game. Let's see if he employs a little National League style. Maybe ask the guy to bunt and move the runner up right here. I don't think so, though. American League, it's nasty. You're trying to drive something in a gap or over a wall. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1-0. No hits to this point. Ball two. You know, something to keep in mind. They're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. This ball will be chopped foul. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. Two and two. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone, or you're going to ground into a double play. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Buxton will slot over and put this one away, and that's out number one. Now batting second baseman, D.J. LaMahieu. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up D.J. LaMahieu. Here's the first pitch. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. The 0 1. Hey. Possible winning run on first, one man away. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Ready with another two strike offering. It's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Gonzalez for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. That was well, kind of a field. high degree of difficulty left. play that time. Red. You see the off-balance throw to the second base. And he couldn't get a lot on it. But they did get the out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. Here's the first pitch. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. He struggled quite a bit at the plate in this one, so until he shows he can put a good swing on the ball, I don't think they're going to give him anything straight that he can handle. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. This is hit the other way out toward left field. 
Rosario is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. The Yanks leave one, still tied one apiece. Tommy Kingley gets the ball as he'll now take over to start this 12th game. inning. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. Coming to the plate now, Josh Donaldson. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Josh Donaldson. Here's the first pitch to him. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Pitch on the way. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Misses, ball two. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. This programming note to pass along. Due to the length of our game tonight, the long-running animated series, The Wilkerson's, will not be seen this evening. Again, no episode of The Wilkerson's after the game tonight. So stepping in, Marwin Gonzalez. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Set and the pitch. No, that Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Bases are empty, one man out. That evens it up, one and one. Now here it comes. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Here it comes. Two balls, two strikes. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Judge is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The batter number two, second baseman, Luis Araya. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Luis Arias, struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a fastball that he shoots on into left center. And that will fall for a base hit. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96-mile-an-hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off-speed. Into the box, Byron Buxton. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. Attempting to, as they say, get off the schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. Comes set, the 0-1. Swings through it for strike number two. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two.
to two balls and two strikes now. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Tuckman is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One left for Minnesota. Score remains tied one to one. Bottom of the 12th inning now. Ready for another for shot Yankees. now. Torres. It was That's a walk stop. in his last trip. Raver. Torres. The pitch. And now he tries to hold up, but they'll appeal down to first. He went around, says Larry Bullard. It's strike one. A one pitch on its way. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Drilled to first. He's right there. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. The right fielder. Aaron. Judge. Ready once again, Aaron Judge. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Here's the 1 0. And a strike to even the count. 1 and 1. One out, nobody on. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. The one and two pitch. <laughs> Hit out towards second. Reined in. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now batter. And this is but not an easy hitter. play when you have to raise to your right. He really didn't have a chance Get to get his there. feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. First pitch coming, here it is. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. One and two, here it is. And he strikes out again. And that's the fifth time he's punched out today. This has certainly not been his game. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Score remains deadlocked at one.
Ready now, Nelson Cruz. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Nelson Cruz. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Judge looks up, and they have taken the lead. A solo shot here to straightaway right field, and it's now a one run ball game. Well, somebody is anxious to end this thing and get the heck out of here. We'll see if that leadoff homer stands up. Either way, that's definitely a way to start the extra frame. Chad Green, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Number 57, Chad Green. Now batting, the designated hitter, Miguel. So now to the plate, Miguel Sano. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1 0 is swung on and missed, strike one. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. The 1-1. One, one. Misses ball two. Now the 2-1 pitch. Drilled right back up the middle. Gloved by LeMahieu. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now batting. Catcher, Mitch Garber. Coming to the plate now, Mitch Garver. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, Matty, he needs to clean it up. He's already got the hat trick. The boys are wondering if the golden sombrero is soon to follow. Gotta lock this A.B. Well, in. Low with a fastball here. In the dirt even. It's ball one. Swing and a miss, yep, one and one. one. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two to the Twins catcher. The count is one and two. The shift will be of little importance here as this is lifted in the air out to left field. Torres ranges back and he has it for route number two. Now batting, the first baseman, Max Kepler. So digging in now, Max Kepler. It was a walk in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Here's the 0-1 pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0-2.
tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. Two out, nobody on. And he strikes him out here for out number three, but the damage has been done as now they'll need some extra inning heroics to pull this one out. So just the one hit in the inning, but it's a home run that pushes him out in front. And now this crowd finds their club behind the eight ball here as they don't want to wind up on the losing end of this thing. Minnesota leads this one two to one. Trevor May comes in out of the bullpen as he'll finally try to wrap this one up in the bottom of the 13th. Gary Sanchez will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Well, that's For one, May. A native of Washington, the Evergreen State. He was a fourth round selection during the 2008 draft. Hey, when you come out of the middle rounds, you have to grind for everything. And that's exactly what this guy has done. And he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. The 1 0. The 1 0. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. 2 0 -well count. The pitch is taken. Strike one. I got 2 1 -well count. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. And possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the Number frame in extra nine. innings. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up or he can really hurt you. In now, Gio Urshela. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Yeah. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. A runner at first with no outs here. And this one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. A one-one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Nobody out. Runner on first. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Really important time for a strike out there, guys. Tying run at first. So now objective back. number Left one is it. stranding him on base. Mark. And now with one out, Stop it becomes there. a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. In now, Mike Talkman, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. The one and zero delivery, and he won't bite at that one either. It's two and zero. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. 2 and 0 oh, here it is. Skied into straightaway right. And there's out number 2 as this is taken in shy of the track and the runner will have to retreat. Now batting. First baseman. Luke. 
Next for New York, Luke Four. Voigt. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Shot toward right center. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Miguel Andujar will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number 41, Miguel Andujar. And with first base open, it looks as though they'll go after the next guy with the force at any base now in order and two men gone. The center fielder, number Stepping 11. Stepping into the box, Brett Gardner. He's got the bases Gardner. loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. And he's one of those guys that they really rely on to come through in spots like this, Matt. Second on the team and runs batted in. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Oh, Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find a strike zone in the worst way. A ball and a strike. I kind of like the aggressive attitude right here. I know he's in a jam. What does he do? He goes to his best stuff, and that's the fastball. Swung on and missed that strike two. Unless you're willing to sell out and try and take one part of the field out of play and just work the ball up the middle the other way, it's extremely difficult when a guy's throwing this hard to stay back on a breaking ball. You either commit, struck him out. So a great job of working out of certain danger as he strands the possible tying and winning runs on base, and the ball game is over. Yeah, and that's a sweet win, especially on the road. They took the lead in the top of the 13th and held on to it in the bottom to secure this win. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. Sergio Romo claims the win out of the pen his first. Trevor May hammers down the save his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show.